Georgia Jones. I'm Associate Professor in the Department of Nutrition and Health Sciences. I'm also the Extension Food Specialist. Food literacy essentially encompasses all things food and what food is. What I deal with with food literacy is what do people know about food and what do they need to know in order to be healthy. So all of it goes back to food. I deal with food preparation issues. I deal with food safety issues. I deal with food as a means of communications. And I deal with the basics of how do you prepare food to, for consumption. I like to prepare foods from prepare dishes from foods that are, don't use a lot of convenience foods products. Uh, that's basically what I go with. Part of my goal, I hope, is to get people not to consume as much fast foods, not to consume as much pre-prepared food. The more you can do for the food, with the food yourself, I think the healthier you'll be. Some of the groups I've worked with, I've worked with Native Americans. Um, hopefully now we have a new grant to help and hopefully to reestablish some of their Native foods. I've also worked with African African American community with their diet and with um, increasing exercise, particularly with women, and with some of the obesity and diabetic issues within those, that community. Part of our goal with them is to help them reduce the consumption of fat and reduce the consumption of sodium. Native American grant is still is, um, a new grant. We've just gotten started with it. Again, part of the goal with the Native American community is to reduce consumption of fat. Hopefully, we'll, part of our goal is also to help them reconnect with some of their native foods and to help them establish some of those, to reestablish some of those native food traditions. Some of those have been lost through, for various reasons, but to help them to reestablish them, hope the goal of the long-term goal of the project is to help them improve their health. Uh, native Americans appear to have a high incidence of diabetes, a high incidence of hypertension, and those diseases that are related to health. So we want to reduce the incidence of those diseases within the community. I think some of my successes have been, well, with extension and with teaching, because I teach the food prep classes, is when someone comes back and says, I now make something that you taught me to make, or I eat something now that I didn't used to eat. I think you have to teach people things that they can actually go home and use. I'm not trying to teach them the big fancy stuff to go make this long elaborate meal. I want to help them to get dinner on the table tonight.